All right, in this tutorial, we'll look at actually uh, making a digital clock in our Unity Sync. So I'll show you a demo of what we'll do. So if you can see, there is a digital timer, actually a clock, and it replicates to my physical clock because on my physical clock, it's 3.34 p.m., which is in 24 hours, 15.34 and you can see, so we'll create this in Unity. So let's get started with the new project. Okay, so I have a new scene here and you can see that um, only thing I have is a main camera and 3D light. So for this, that for um, the clock to so we need a UI uh, text element so what I will do is go to the game hierarchy right click on it and just do UI and I could just say text I don't need text Ms. Pro. so when I do that text you can see there's a text element added to it um, there is an event system and the canvas automatically gets added so what we can do is let's switch to 3D. I think I had a 3D project. Let's switch to 2D. And you can see there is that text element. I just have to... Okay. So you can see the text is right here. So next what I will do is go to this text and we could just say hello. And on this text element, what I can do is select this rec tool and I'm pressing shift and alt now I'll just do center right here now if you see actually I can go to my game window and you can see the text is actually appearing at the center right okay now well we won't be using this um, to actually do the script it's just the positioning of where our clock would show up next to create the actual clock we'll create a new c sharp script and we'll just say clock ck now let's say i double click on this one it should open my visual studio okay it's okay i have my default uh, script open here um, what I can do is I don't need this or we'll rewrite all of this stuff and <clears throat> since the clock would be displayed on the UI text element I know for a fact that I will be using the let's see here okay I think uh, using unity engine.ui for fact right I will be using this and also since we will be using a date time struct so I will also use uh, using system okay so it imports everything now these are the names so hopefully these are the names that we need next thing what we can do is we have to make a reference to the text element so let's do text and then let's say this is a clock text okay so this is just getting reference now in my awake method so awake method is actually called even before the start method so this is when the software is or program or this app is awake which is before even start we'll try to get the reference for this so the clock text is I uh, will get the reference for this this is a text type so we need to get a component and yeah this is all we need for the awake function now the actual substance of it happens in the update function so in the update function what we'll do is let's say we ha already have the struct of uh, because we are using the system so we can make a reference to date time so let's say date time is of time and then we get date time dot now okay just by doing that we are getting a reference to the the current time and um, 
because we want to display in a very special format we will parse the hours the minutes and then the second of it so for now we can do time the hour okay now we will run into this issue you can see that this is referencing a string hour because we want to display in some sort of text right so this is what ultimately we want to display let's say the clock text dot text and here we want to say hour plus and then you know the special format this colon and then plus like let's say there's another one we give it minute and then we put a, a colon after that and then we do seconds right seconds and don't worry about it uh sorry it auto completed this for me i just wanted to write second second i guess okay here oops okay for some reason this is okay there you go now this is the format that we want this is like let's say 13 is my hour then 44 is my minute and then let's say 13 is my second right this is the format that we want so to get that format we need to put that in a string so it has to parse in a string but then the problem that it's running is it is saying this is of type a different type because it cannot convert this is int and this is a string so we need to write uh, a function that converts that right and also we want to let's say the another thing is let's say we have 13 and then 6 is the minute we don't want to show 6 we want to show 0 6 right and then same with the second if it's 1 we want to show 0 1 right second so so what we'll do is we'll write a function that will uh, get the string return the string type from that this one this element and then also pad some zeros to the left so if it's leading so we'll say a leading zero and then we'll pass that of int n and now for n what we will do is return we just want to return n dot we want two string so it converts to string and also we want to pad it with the left two and then zero is what we want to pad with okay so now when we go here i can say leading zero now i can pass this see here you go okay that will help us solve now so we'll do the same with string minute and this would be leading zero because this is we're using this to convert this okay and time dot hour time dot minute everything is already built in so string and then we say second and then i use leading zero that's a function that parses the thing time dot second and yeah this should be it now let's say i save this and uh, because we already say hey clock text use this as the text so instead of showing me this the hello world sorry here okay this one instead of just showing me the hello uh, use the text that i use in a function using this method right here okay now i'm going to text and then i'm going to test this as a component and there it is now let's say i do play and then let's see you already see you can see that the already it's showing me the the actual time that i have running in the system right it's 347 1547 yeah so that's all for today um hopefully this helped you make a simple digital clock uh i don't know you could use this for a game whatever 
to display a time etc in your game or whatever stuff you want to use this for um, if this helped uh, don't forget to like share subscribe and I will keep making more contents about this in unity until then have a good day good night wherever you are stay safe